the markets hit all-time record highs again. Yawn. My name's Dez here at Rock Trade, and down here in the bottom right-hand corner, go to full screen to watch this in great clarity. And over here to the left a little bit, there's a little gear. Put this dude in high definition. And it's Monday, November 10th, 2014. I'll be your host for the next few moments here. Let's take a look at the S&P. Dow, NASDAQ, and Russell's. Everybody up. You have Dow, and, or rather the NASDAQ and the Russell's leading the charge to the upside up about a half a percent. And below, banks up more than a half percent, confirming today's bullish move. VIX down 3.4% confirming today's bullish move and gold takes it on the chin yet again down two percent one percent dive for silver and crude oil down 1.41 1 percent gang i am so interested in buying crude right now i think we could be at a nice support level and u.s dollar up yet again and if you looked in here transportation index is up 1.33 percent very very bullish what's of equal interest is utilities, which is the defensive sector, also bullish. <laughs> a lot of indecision out there in the markets. I'm going to start off on a weekly chart here because it tells the tale. You have on a weekly chart resistance, resistance, and resistance. What's interesting on this resistance is we're past this resistance. Well, these candlesticks are static. They're unmoving. However, this one is dynamic. It's still moving, meaning that the week's just getting started. So this could go anywhere. So this red line that I have coming across really does not have that much meaning. However, these two do. You'll see that we went from candlesticks to candlestick. Very bullish velocity or trajectory. But that basically got cut in half, rolling over. And then this is where we're at right now. So you can see that rolling over effect when you draw these type of lines at an area of resistance. So on the daily chart, you'll see that we've gone up, 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 and up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. Not much of a gambler, but we do go to Vegas quite a bit. And for training purposes, for education on the trading side, the irony there is incredible. But what's interesting is you look at a roulette table and people will put their money in black or red on a roulette table and they'll look for runs here. And if you look here, we have a ton of black, if you will, or and then one red, another red, just the t big time runs. To, this is an anomaly to see this many bullish days up in a row. It just... I'm, it just does not happen that often. I've been trading almost 17 years live in the markets, not investing, trading, using technical analysis and charting. You just don't see this. Now we're up here at this resistance point. We're just above it. Now I'm going to go over here to the spider and show you volume. So this is what's interesting. Although we keep going higher, 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 the volume keeps going lower, lower, lower. This is a bad, bad sign. Few, few buyers are up here at these high levels. So when we drop, it's just a matter of time. We will drop at some point, believe it or not. <laughs> it should be a nasty little drop. You go up quite a bit here, usually you'll get these big, red, chunky candlesticks. I don't know when that'll happen, but when they do, it's a, you'll get a lot of profit takers moving in. So, I hope this is assistance to you and of benefit. And I hope you guys have taken advantage of the 101 courses and have eventually moved to the 201 more advanced courses. Definitely something to be considering in step number two in your journey to becoming all you can be as a trader. Mm -hmm.